Welcome back to our Inventor Series. Um, what you're seeing on the screen right now is our um, wheel assembly. Now we're going to take this and we're going to make an exploded view out of it. This is so that when we put it on our drawing sheets we have an exploded view as well as an assembled view so that they can see how the parts line up. Now to do that I need to begin with a new drawing. So I'm going to just go up here and I'm going to go new. And instead of doing an IPT or an IAM, we're going to use an IPN. This is a presentation type file. Go OK. It's going to open it up. Now, I've got to create a view first. So what I'm going to do is simply come up here and I'm going to find my file. And we can pick whichever, one, you know, whatever we need. In this case, we're going to pick our assembly. I'm going to go open. And now, explosion method. It automatically is going to explode it in Inventor. Now, I can tell it to do automatic until at a distance of one inch and create the trails. Now the trails are the lines that show where the pieces line back up or I can leave them off. I'm going to leave them on and I'm going to tell it to automatic but instead of one inch I'm going to go say two inches on this one 2.00 and then I'm just simply going to go OK and I'm going to drop it in. Now it's huge compared to where I'm at but let's zoom out. Now it doesn't always do it logically as you can tell. Um, apparently my wheel moved through my axle, which is in my bushing, moved through my assembly here. I've got all kinds of issues going on. So what we're going to do is we're going to manipulate this around a little bit and we're going to try to force it to look a little better. So I'm going to go to the bottom right here and then I'm going to go to say, mm, let's rotate this over a little bit so we can see what we got going on here. All right, That's better. So there's our there's our pieces. Now let's move them around a little bit. Now, like I said, we can select them and we can try to move them, but right now they're pretty much locked. So I'm just going to go tweak components. So first off, I'm going to tweak this component and I'm going to move it out. So this is my plate. So clear. Let's click on this component and let's move him a little bit. Okay. This is our support, so we're going to move him out a little bit so we can see where he lines up. Next, I need to move the bushings around. Well, the bushings have gotten themselves all ski whomped back to front, left to right, etc. So I'm going to clear my selection, and now I'm going to click on this piece right here, and I'm going to move up. Oh, I'm clicked on the wrong surface, clear. I need to pick on this surface, and then I can move him. Oh, it wants me to move it the wrong direction again, so clear that one. So let's pick on our piece again, let's see if I can get the right surface. Moving in the Y direction. Okay, we're just going to slide him clear out here for just a moment. Now that's good. So we can see where that lines up. It comes over and comes up. Now we've got to move our bushings to the right location. So we're going to click on this bushing right here and we're going to go and move the bushing. So I'm going to move this bushing over here so he ends up just right in front of where he should actually be. And I'm going to clear that selection. Now I'm going to take this axle, I'm going to move the axle over a little bit, but not too much. Then I'm going to clear that selection. Now I'm going to move this bushing all the way down here. I'm going to stop him right there. He's inside my wheel, I know. But for right now, that's just fine with me. Okay. So now I'm going to move that wheel over, clear that selection, and move this bushing a little closer, and then clear that one, and then move this. Cancel. Let's undo that last tweak we did. All right, so we want this, and we want to move it. Tweak the component. We want to move it. And this is always my favorite part because I never do get it to go the way I want it to go. And no, we don't want to go to Z. We want to go on the Y axis. I'm going to move this over this way a little bit closer. And then we're going to clear that one, and we're going to click on this guy, and I want to work on the z-axis again here. Move him out that way just a hair. Clear that one. Pick on this one again with the z-axis. Move him just a hair. So we clear. All right, clear. There is my assembly view. Now, you'll notice my lines are all over the place. The automatic lines don't always work great, but for right now, um, we're going to leave them. I can mess with the trail origins. I want to, like the origin of this one to this one, okay, should be right there. For right now, I'm going to leave them. 
Okay. Reason being, I'm going to zoom back out and put this in the center of my screen. That is a pretty clear. My problem is I don't like the automatic origins. I tend to draw my own center lines. But for this purpose right here, that's a simple way to do it. Uh, again, like I said, I use my own center lines when I put it on the drawing sheet. We'll show you how to do that in a little bit later. But for right now, there's my exploded assembly view. Thank you.